coming up. If I had 10,000 tongues, that would be crazy. But I'm giving the Lord some more praise. Amen. 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 Therefore, we give honor to our Lord and our Savior, who is indeed the head of all of our lives, to our wonderful presiding elder of the Midlands District, presiding elder Charles Young. Let's give the Lord praise. Our Dr. Sandra Young. Amen. Let's give the Lord some praise for her presence as well. Amen. The Reverend Linda Sumter Bear, efficient minister on our staff, we give the Lord praise for her as well. And the Reverend Ellery Smart, who is on assignment this morning over at Mount Zion Amy Church in Ellery, we give the Lord praise in her absence. Amen. Amen. And to our wonderful first lady, Sister Lachelle Bet Simpson, the prettiest first lady in all African Methodism. Amen. And to our teen time worship leader, Sister Michelle Reed. Won't you please stand? Amen. Our worship leader for our worship leader. So now, my brothers and sisters, it is now time for us to enter into worship. So let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord he is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, Lord, and have loved the habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. May the joy of the Lord to the Lord, and all the earth sing praises. Let us give the Lord some praise. Amen. Shall we come and lead us in this worship experience? Let's give her some praise. Good morning. Good morning. Church family. I am a Sister Michelle Reed. Amen. Let's have a song of praise by our youth choir.
Now we will have a prayer by Sister Selena Reeves. Holy Child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sins and enter in. Be born in us today. Amen. Amen.
Now we will have the Old Testament by Sister Jordan Miller. I'll be reading chapter, I'll be reading Psalms chapter 80, verse 1 through 7. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, though that led us just like a flock, though that dwellers between the cherubim shine forth, before Abraham and Benjamin and Messiah, Man Manasseh, stir up their strength and come up and save us. Turn us again, O God, and come to thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will I be angry against the prayer of thy people? Those feed us then with the bread of tears, and give us them their tears to drink in great measure. Though make us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies left among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and they come with thy faith to shine, and we shall be saved. Now we will have the New Testament by Mr. Karen Summerson. Yes. reading Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 10 through verse 5 through 10. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. With burnt offerings and sin offerings, you were not pleased. Then I said, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, my God. First he said, Sacrifices and off offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you did not desire, nor were you pleased with them. Though they were offered in accordance with the law. Then he said, here I am. I have to come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, we have been made holy, holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. From all that dwells below the skies of the greatest praise, arise.
this morning say, neighbor. neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, I love you. What you can do about it? So the Bible said another neighbor and looked him in the black of the eye and said, neighbor. neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, you look good this morning. Give the Lord some praise. Amen. Amen. Let's give our wonderful worship leader some praise. Santa Claus, amen. 
but today you have black applause. Amen. Amen. So there's going to be a whole lot of giving going on during this wonderful worship service. Amen. And I can't wait to see the giving start to begin. I have a bag on the side of me down here full of nice gifts. Amen. We have Secret Santa that is waiting for us later on uh, during the worship service. First lady, would you please go into my pastor's study, amen, and get those wonderful two bags, amen. Uh, we have something for our lovely, uh, our lovely advisor for the for the Midlands District, amen, uh, Dr. Sandra Young, as well as our wonderful presiding elder, amen. And so we're going to be a blessing unto you this morning, amen. And certainly we want to continue to pray for Dr. Sandra Young as they uh, came from a homegoing celebration of her passing of her brother. Uh, this past Wednesday. Amen. So we want to pray their strength in the Lord, but they kind of did not robbery to still join us for Sunday morning worship. And we are so glad that you are here. Amen. And I hear the first lady coming with the bags. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so I'm going to let her, I'm going to let the first lady, amen, uh, do this, do these wonderful presentations. Amen. We want to be a blessing to you, presiding out the young and Dr. Sandra Young, now these are some heavy baskets. So heavy, there's a card in there that you might need two bodyguards, amen, <laughs> to walk you out this church, amen. So I'm going to turn it over to the First Lady so that she may make these wonderful presentations to the leadership of our wonderful Midlands District, amen. Good morning, um, my Olive family. Good morning. Um, since we have the doctors in the house and my olive have a tradition of pounding uh, the pastor and first lady, so we're going to pound uh, the doctors <laughs> in the house. So we would like to say um, thank you for your leadership and on the behalf of pastor and my olive family, we would like to present to you two uh, some fruit baskets on behalf of our family. And we would like to say thank you for your leadership once again, and that we love you, and there's yeah. nothing yeah. that you can do about it. Thank you. <laughs> observations very brief amen because our youth they have a wonderful Christmas program lined out amen and I let them know that I'm not going to be an all-day preacher today amen because they have their wonderful program they're going to do this afternoon so the pastor will do perhaps maybe a five or seven minute full of fire Holy Ghost sermon <laughs> amen amen now, I'm going to tell you something about all the Amy Church. If you don't tear the carpet up in five or seven minutes, yeah. amen, that's on you, amen. But the Lord is going to show up in five or seven minutes, and we're going to turn it over to our youth so that we can begin this wonderful uh, Christmas program, amen. But the only other observation that I have, and I'm not trying to close the year with a whole lot of announcements, uh, Wednesday night church school will be canceled for this coming Wednesday. I want you to go out there and continue to shop and get your Christmas shoppings done. Amen. So that way when Christmas comes, everybody is smiling and happy uh, when Santa Claus shows up. So we won't have uh, any Wednesday night church school. Amen. Um, but we want to pray for our sick and shut in. I just called Brother Roger Hamilton this morning. Um, he had gotten out of surgery this past week, so I prayed with him this morning on the way coming to church, so we want to continue to pray for him 
Uh, keep him lifted in prayer. Amen. Also, we want to continue to pray for Sister Carolyn Oliver. Amen. She has been in and out of the hospital. Amen. And this week, I have a lot of time available. I'm going to be going by to see a lot of our sick and shut-in members. Amen. DJJ has turned me loose some. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to, go, I'm going to come by and check on my members. Amen. Amen. So that concludes my pastor's observations. So at this time, I'm going to have our wonderful leadership of our brand new Midlands District uh, to come and grace us in their fashion. Let us stand and grace them and give them some praise as we welcome. To your pastor, uh, friend and brother, uh, to his wife, God bless you, and your mother. They do look like sisters, don't they? Yeah. Amen. Well, I guess they are sisters in some regard. Yes. But uh, it is our delight to be here with you this morning, my wife and I, uh, Reverend Sumter and Reverend Hart as well, and all of us who are here. God bless you. Uh, as was mentioned, we are just returning from Pensacola. Uh, and uh, with my wife, and so she's here, and thank you. We uh, weighed our option of whether or not we should come out to worship this morning, but uh, we knew where we were coming. Amen. And we know that coming here, there is uh, good fellowship, there is healing in the spirit, and so we are here. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for your gifts. Uh, you just actually shortened my Christmas list. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The Lord is good, isn't he? Oh, yes. Amen. So, uh, so I'm done with three-fourths of mine shopping right here. Thank you so very much. And this is not even Walmart, is it? But God bless you. Thank you, Pastor, for all that you do. Uh, he's one of my favorite, and I appreciate him, his heart for God and God's people. Thank you so very much, Pastor. Blessing upon you. And we give the Lord praise. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we are going to continue to be expeditious in this wonderful worship experience. Amen. And the Bible says that it's much more blessed to give than it is to receive. And those of you who are joining us, who are our guests, amen, uh, this is our custom as to how we receive our tithes and our offerings. Uh, you make sure you place your offerings in your tithing envelopes. We bless them in advance, and once you exit the premises, you drop your tithes and your offerings in the tithing box, which will be outside of this door, amen, and you will exit from the premises, amen. And so, let me back up a little bit. I almost forgot. There's so much stuff going on. I almost forgot the important thing. And I told my children this morning, uh, from 4 to 6 o'clock, it's going to be all about you, amen. And so, there is going to be a game truck, amen. That's going to be on the premises, amen, from 4 to 6, and our children are going to be playing Fortnite and everything else in between, and on that wonderful game truck, amen. So those of you that are listening on this live stream, bring your children out this afternoon uh, to participate in play with the game truck that's going to be here this afternoon for the children, amen. So now we get back into our worship experience where we worship the Lord through giving. Let us stand all over the church as we look to the Lord for the blessing of our offering. God says, his word says, it's much more blessed to give than it is to receive. Amen. If you're given by way of envelopes, raise your envelopes high. If you're given by way of Giblify, raise your electronic apparatus up high, your cell phone or your tablet. Whatever it is that you plan to worship the Lord with, raise it high. Oh, God, be so thankful that this opportunity is upon us that we might worship you with everything that we have. You've given us so much, oh, God, that we can't even count the number of things that you blessed us with. But, Lord, we want to be a blessing unto you, oh, God. We want to bless you with our offering. And, Lord, as we bless you with our offering, if it pleases you, God, we pray that you will look down from heaven upon your throne and bless this offering, multiply it, that it might be used for the upkeep 
and the building of your kingdom. For it's in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray. And the blessed people of God said, Amen. You may be seated and we turn it back into the hands of this wonderful, wonderful worship leader. Now, Sister Michelle, you could be my worship leader anytime. Amen. Let's give her some praise.
can feel him moving yes. all over me. Amen. The protocol has already been thoroughly established. Yes. There is a word from the Lord. I want to thank our children for reading the scriptures that are chosen for the theological season to represent what's going on right now during the liturgical season. This is the last Sunday of Advent season. And this is a season where we are focusing on our hearts. As we've been saying for the past couple Sundays, that we are focusing on the condition of our hearts to receive the coming of Jesus the Christ. I challenge you to ask yourself this question. Since the very first Sunday of Advent season, what does your heart look like now over the course of time? Is it more loving now? Is it more receiving of the love of God? Has there been any change in your life since we started this Advent season? Amen. But we will go in back into the book of Hebrews chapter 10. And I'm only going to read verse number 10. And I'm going to be reading from the common, the common English Bible. And it reads this way. We have been made holy by God's will through the offering of Jesus Christ once for all. Once for all. Once for all. Pray with me as I use for a thought to close this Advent season, the last Sunday of Advent season. He came once for all. He came once for all. He came once for all to die for sins. He's not going to come back and die again. He's already done that. He came once for all to die for our sins. The next time Christ is coming back, he's coming back to receive the church without spot or rain. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for your coming. Thank you for being born in a lowly manger. We thank you, Lord, for coming to be close to us. To show us what God the Father looks like when we look at the baby Jesus. We see so much there in him to let us know what God is like. Oh, but we thank you, Lord, for coming, not just for one, but for the entire universe. For those souls who've already come and born and for those souls that are yet to become and be born, you came for all that you might die for our sin we might have a right to the tree of life. So we thank you for your coming. And Lord, we are working on getting ourselves ready for the going when that day comes. For it's in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray. The blessed people of God said, Amen. Amen. Now for the next five minutes, we are going to hear what thus saith the Lord. But if the Holy Spirit takes over, you, you, you we already know what's going to happen. Amen. Amen. But, but, but for the next five minutes, we want to reflect on the fact that Jesus came in a body to be offered once for all. John the Apostle said the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus. The law was given on stone tablets, but grace and truth came in flesh and blood in the body of Jesus Christ. You can find that recorded in the gospel according to St. John chapter 1 verse 7. The law, I want you to understand, was not given to everyone. I know that seems rather harsh, but if you read the Old Testament, the law originally was not given to everyone. But it was only given to Yahweh's chosen people, the Israelites. That's who the law was given to. Even then, the law only allowed the high priest 
to come before Yahweh once a year on behalf of God's chosen people to make sacrifices for their sins. So the Gentiles did not have the law available to them in the Old Testament. It was given to the Israelites. I'm almost done, my brothers and sisters. Stay with me, but I'm so glad this morning that we don't live in the Old Testament anymore. Can I get a witness? Ah, uh, because if we were still in the Old Testament, we would still be without the law. But the Lord, but the Lord was not satisfied with the yearly sacrifices made on behalf of only his chosen people. No, he was not satisfied. He was not satisfied with the shedding of blood that came from lambs and bulls and turtle doves just for his people. No, he wasn't satisfied. He wasn't satisfied with the high priest going into the holies of holies just for one year. Amen. On behalf of the people. You know now, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to know that you can go to Jesus yourself every second of the day. Amen. But, but if you had to do the Old Testament way, the high priest had to shed blood for his sins first. He had to be right first before he went into the holies of holies with a rope tied around his waistline. And if there was sin present in the high priest, and if he dropped dead in the holies of holies, uh, in the presence of the Lord, they pulled the high priest out. And then the next person had to go on and complete the ritual. I'm so glad uh, that we don't have to do that anymore, my brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, I feel the Holy Spirit speaking to me right now. I remember growing up in Cordova, South Carolina. I grew up on a farm where we had hogs and chickens. Some people called them pigs, but we called them hogs. Uh, where we came from, and we would slaughter pigs. Uh, Every city, you know, it's nasty and smelly blood all over the place and guts all over the place uh, so that the family could have meat to eat for the winter. Uh, but that's what the high priest had to do every year for the sins of God's chosen people. Uh, those nasty guts and blood wasn't for you. It was for God's chosen people. Uh, but I don't know about you this morning that I'll be served. God, I'm so satisfied uh, that the fact that the Lord was not satisfied uh, with the old way of doing things. Uh, he had to send someone to come and change things. Uh, you know, change is good, my brothers and sisters. Uh, you ought to try it once in a while. Uh, when change comes, it will afford you opportunities uh, that you didn't have before. Uh, but if Jesus didn't come, y'all will hear me, church. Uh, we will be stuck in our sins. Uh, if Jesus didn't come, uh, can you witness, church? Uh, if Jesus would, didn't come, uh, we'll still be dying for the effects of sin. Uh, we'll still be dying from cancer. Uh, we'll still be suffering from high blood pressure. Uh, we'll still
Christ as Lord and Savior. You can do it right there in your seats. Amen. Hallelujah. So right now, if there's one under the sound of my voice, amen, you can receive Christ right now. And if you desire really to give Christ your life, just say amen. And I heard a whole lot of amens. Some of those amens are, I'm glad that I've accepted Christ already. Amen. But if you're a new if you have never accepted Christ and you just accepted him right now, just say amen. See, when you say amen, it is simply saying it is confirmed. It is so. Amen. Leaving that first petition upon the floor. Amen. Maybe you're not a member of a church. Amen. And you'd like to join Mount Olive Amy Church. Amen. Just raise your hand right where you are. Amen. If you'd like to join Mount Olive Abbey Church, I will gladly give you the form to fill out so we can put your name on the roll and begin the process. Amen. I'll bring you into the full membership. Will there be one? Just raise your hand. Amen. Leaving both petitions upon the floor. Amen. I want you to close your eyes all over the church for his prayer time. You know what it is you need from the Lord. 
You know exactly what it is that you've been crying out to the Lord for. Yes. You know what it is that's, that's causing you to have sleepless nights. I'm here to tell you that prayer will change things. I'm a witness and I know that I have some prayer warriors in this church that's seen the power of prayer and what it can do. So whatever it is that you stand in need of, put it to the front of your mind and meditate on the power of God and see him changing your circumstances. Let us pray. Lord, there's some in the hospital right now so sick that they can barely raise their hands. But oh God, we lift them up unto you, oh Lord. Because Lord, we know that the doctors, they practice medicine. But we're calling on the specialist right now in the name of Jesus that specializes in healing. So, Lord, right now we pray, Lord, that you continue to heal cancer. We pray, God, that you will continue to heal heart disease and, and all kinds of sickness, Lord. We pray, God, that you would regulate vital signs, Lord, blood pressure and sugar diabetes. We be praying for those right now, God, who are going through mental disorder, Lord, suffering from Bipolar disorder and schizophrenia right now, Lord, and, and all kinds of mental illness, oh God. We lift it up right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, someone right now, Lord, is looking at the end of the year coming, Lord, and you're not going to have a job, oh God. But we're lifting up that jobless situation. Put it right in your hands right now, God. And Lord, everything, oh God, that we did name, oh God, we, we lift it all up in the name of Jesus and we put it into your hands. We plead the blood right now over all things. We plead the blood right now that turns everything around. We plead the blood of all sickness. We plead the blood over all our circumstances. We put it in your hands, oh God, because we know that our hands are too small, God, to have. But we know, Lord, that when we put it into your hands, it's already fixed. So, Lord, we end this prayer by saying, in Jesus' name, it's already done. In Jesus' name, I'm already here. In Jesus' name, I do have a new job. In Jesus' name, I'm no longer suffering. With mental disorder. In Jesus' name, it's already done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, it's already done. And the blessed people of God all said, Amen. Amen. Give the Lord some praise all over the house. Amen. 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 I want to thank my little worship leader. Amen. Doing a good job, amen. And you took us to the end of this part of our journey, amen. amen. And you did an outstanding job, and the Lord is going to reward you today, amen. For your wonderful works. So at this time, we call upon our Christian ad director, Sister Lily Green, amen, who will come and lead us in our wonderful Christmas program, amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Presentation, recitation, 
Start with our Christmas recitation. Our first person up is Londa Carney. Come up, Londa. Welcome, family, friends, neighbors, and moms and dads. We will do our best for you. Christian Rush, Kirsten Rush. Rejoice this Christmas day, your Lord and Savior is here. Rejoice, this, rejoice, I say again, rejoice. Let his birth bring your heart cheer. Amen. Thank you, our little one. Yes. Now we will have a selection from our sensational senior choir. Come on, senior choir. Yeah. <laughs> 
Kamari Washington, John 3 and 16. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Christian yeah. Fuller, Galatians 4, 4 and 5, 4 through 5. a great co company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. <laughs> Jordan Miller, Luke 2, 10, 11. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And last but not least, Xavier 20. To us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting, Father, Prince of Peace.
At this time, we're going to have a collection from our trio. Let's give them a hand at this time.
just gonna do a little skit for you. It's not gonna be long. Just give us some love. Amen. We're do a little skit. wrapped him in swallowed clothing and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. <laughs> <laughs>
for a few years more. This day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, increase, and myrrh.
the storm that led the, led the wise men to seek the Savior. Will we give and receive gifts? Stop to ponder what gifts you can give to the Christ child. For the spirit of Christmas is the spirit of love and of generosity and of goodness. It eliminates the picture window of the soul and we look out upon the world's busy life and become more interested in people and in things. The spirit of Christmas is something I hope all of us would have within our hearts and within our lives, not only at this particular season, but also throughout the years. And while the Christian was urged, let us not spend Christmas, but let us keep Christmas in our hearts and in our lives. Let's give them some love. Amen.
So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to the hand of our pastor. Amen. Amen. Let us give the Lord some praise. Amen. 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 This has been a wonderful day. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so as we prepare for our dismissal, amen, we're going to prepare by giving gifts during our secret Santa. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I heard Sister Hardy said something about the pounding of the pastor. However you plan to do that, please give us some instructions, but we want to do it as we are preparing to exit. Amen. Amen. The worship the, service. The table in the back is out there. Uh, brother, if you can bring it in, bring it in the front, and then pass the, his fist bump into everybody, just go ahead and, and pound the pass. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Dr. Jung, are there any closing remarks that you would like to make before we uh, give the benediction? Amen. And then I, and I give some instructions how we're going to do our secret sound. Amen. Two thumbs up, five thumbs. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So let us all stand all over the church, amen. And when I give the benediction, amen, I'm going to give instructions on how we're going to do the secret Santa because we're going to do it all expeditiously, amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. 